Wow, that's so good. I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens with final blows. Like I always saw myself getting married, and now as I get older, I don't fit to your bars, beauty queens. Wedding dresses, going all to different places, different planets. Got your aura, pass me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down and dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, be like when you feel like calling a midnight. like to eat salad? No. No. Oh. What is your favourite food? Favourite food is pasta. Pasta. Pasta is very yummy. Pasta. Ah. I like pasta with lots of cheese. Pasta, 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 pasta. They all drink pasta with a uh, four much balls. With a few. I don't like this one. I don't like. This burger, is it small? No, it's big. It's very big, isn't it? I'm excited to see your masterpiece. Wow, that's so good. Well done. That is so good. Wow, you are so good at drawing. Wow, that's so good. Well done. You have done a great job. I told you the eyes are nice. The eyes are really good. I like the eyelashes and I like the eyeliner. Good detail. Fantastic. We only have 38 seconds left and then we have finished class. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> we still have, <laughs> but we still have 30 seconds left. Earplugs. Oh, I can hear myself speak <laughs> when I wear these. It does kind of sound like I'm underwater, so everything that I'm saying is not that clear. But these have been so helpful. Like, I must say, I've been wearing these now for a week every single day. I've been wearing them when I've been teaching for the whole day, and I've been wearing them as well at night time to sleep. And I've noticed such a positive difference. Like they have really helped me so much because when I've got these earplugs on underneath my headphones, I am just in my own zone and I'm not getting distracted by outside noises and neighbors as much and things like that. Like sounds are so much more distant, which I'm so grateful for. Last Monday in my last vlog, I was pulling my hair out because I was just so agitated at being able to hear everything. But these earplugs have been such a game changer. If you work from home or you just need to have moments of quiet because maybe you live in a noisy house or something, maybe you've got housemates, maybe you live in the city or you live, I don't know, but maybe you work in a busy office or something earplugs are absolutely brilliant honestly sometimes when i'm having a class the student will be in the same room as their family so they're having a class 
no headphones in or anything and then their mum and dad and brother and sister are all playing in the same room having conversations watching tv mum's cooking and like cutting up and chopping up vegetables and slamming plates and cupboards and <laughs> It's basically very noisy a lot of the time when I'm teaching some students. So I feel like these earplugs have helped me with that too because I'm just not getting as much sound in my ears. <laughs> it's such a simple solution, but it's fixed so much. It's helped me so much. Honestly, it's made such a huge difference. So I really recommend these loop earplugs, especially if you are somewhere where you don't have complete control of your environment in terms of noise they help so so much i cannot believe how quick this break goes in about six minutes i've got to teach more lessons i had like a 20 something minute break but by the time i've gone to the toilet made a coffee sat down it's literally time to get up again but never mind at least I've been able to breathe for a couple of seconds, have a couple of sips of coffee, and yeah. Today is the 1st of March, pinch punch, 1st of the month. What do you think of my hair? I got my hair done on the weekend. On Saturday, I got some of the color touched up. So as you can see, I've got a little bit more blonde in the front, just a tiny bit there. And then he did put some more colour as well throughout it in general, like there are some parts, whoa, that is blonde. Um, I would have liked some more of that, a bit more at the top, but never mind. Um, but yeah, I really like it, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I just had a little bit of a touch up of the colour, so isn't it always so great when you go to the hairdressers? Like I don't think there is any feeling better than going to the hairdressers, like you just feel alive like you walk out of the hairdressers after i got out the hairdressers i went to sainsbury's so i wasn't doing anything you know fun because when you're in the hairdressers they always say like how do you want me to style it are you going out tonight and i was like no i'm just going to the supermarket so you know i don't mind she did some nice bouncy like waves kind of like a bouncy blow dry it's all dropped out now obviously because this is like two days I've slept on it but when I came out of the hairdressers and I was walking down Sainsbury's aisles like ch -ch 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 -ch, you know when you've just had your hair done and you've just got that feeling and also it smells so nice as well like ah oh, going to the hairdressers is just an absolute treat isn't it like such a treat I love it I just remembered I had a really funny dream where I dreamt last night that somebody had coloured in this mug with crayons or felt tip pens and I woke up and there were like lines all over it like as if a child had scribbled on it and I was really upset because I was like my favourite mug it's ruined and that was my dream last night very random isn't it funny how kids are just so straightforward and honest I do like that about kids actually. I feel like sometimes with adults, you don't know if you're coming or going. There are so many rules and people never say what they mean a lot of the time as adults, but kids, kids just give it to you straight. Like they're not thinking about how it's gonna make you feel. They just tell you how it is. So one of my students, she was drawing a picture of me and uh, she was like, I'm just trying to get your, your face. Um, as she was drawing and then she was like your face is quite big isn't it and I was like well um maybe I didn't really know how to react I was like well I guess it is kind of big maybe <laughs> and she was like yeah it's quite big as she was drawing with her pencil did you see the picture that she'd done it was really good it was very detailed she's only I think she's seven years old maybe she might be eight years old now but she can draw so much better than I can like she'd even done like my eyeliner on my eyes and she'd even drawn my headset and my mic and oh it was so cute sometimes in class she can be like very distracted you know as a lot of kids are sometimes finds class kind of boring so wants to do her own thing 
but I noticed that because she was drawing in the whole of that class, she was more focused. So she was able to go through the class, answer questions, basically do the English class because she was drawing at the same time, um, which I can relate to because a lot of the time when I'm doing something, if it's something that I'm not really, really engaged in and I don't find it super interesting, I basically get bored and my brain kind of checks out. So, so I need to be multitasking, doing something else so that my brain doesn't switch off. So it's like if I'm cleaning, for example, or tidying, I'll put on a podcast in my headphones so that I can tidy because otherwise it will be so mind-numbingly boring without. And I felt like this student, because she was drawing, she was so much more focused and so much more present in class. Some kids just learn in different ways. I feel like she needs to be a bit more active. Oh, there's my mom. <sighs> right, last sip of coffee, more or less. Earplugs back in. I feel invincible when I wear these. <laughs> like, I feel like I've got some kind of superpower or something because I'm just like, no noise will stop me from working. Honestly, these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's like, as soon as you put them in, you just block out the whole world. It's just, it's incredible. way to bath with my cat let me refresh that again oh my gosh that is absolutely brilliant oh look at that little cutie even though they're in a container they're still so chilled because I feel like a lot of cats would still not enjoy that even though they are like not technically in the water they're still very close if you have a cat have you ever tried that before if you have a dog, have you ever tried that before? <laughs> Probably not. Isn't it funny, the kinds of things that you just find on Instagram and the kinds of things that people try? I'm just on my lunch break. I've got, what's the time? It's one o'clock. So I've actually got six minutes left now until the end of lunch. It's actually bank holiday today. It's been bank holiday Monday. And then the whole weekend, like Friday was technically Good Friday. And then Easter Sunday was yesterday and today is Bank Holiday Monday. I don't have Bank Holiday because I thought that was a spider then. <laughs> that piece of fluff, I saw that just then out the corner of my eye and I thought, oh my God, is that a spider? Any piece of fluff or anything that is black, I just automatically think, oh my gosh, that could be a bug or some kind of spider. Like my brain is always on alert, on the lookout for any spiders. Yeah, so it's Bank Holiday Monday, but obviously not Bank Holiday Monday for me. It's just a normal Monday, a normal day. To be fair, I've not actually had a day off teaching for a long time. Like when did I last have a day off teaching? But it's one of those things where having a day off is so lovely and so needed. But then if you take a day off, then obviously you get less pay, you know, self-employed. If you don't work, you don't get paid. But I could do with taking a day off at some point just to have a nice little rest, you know, because you do always feel so refreshed and rejuvenated after you've had a day off. Today we're going to hear about Nate's plan for his future trip to Disney World. Aww. We actually didn't go anywhere this year, but we are planning to go to Disney World next year. We will be staying in a fancy hotel with a view of the castle. I'm not going to be sleeping in at all. I will be waking up early every morning to ride all the roller coasters. 
take out these earplugs. I would have got to learn about Disney World. Well, not learn about Disney World. There was like a little section talking about Disney World. But that last class I just had, the student was not participating. So we didn't really have a productive class. <laughs> and I kept thinking, we could be talking about Disney World. We could be, you know, having a nice discussion about Disney World. And you're not interested. But yeah, never mind. <laughs> Me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they don't mind me just sunbathing in this beautiful patch of sun? I'm like, you know, cats and dogs when they see like a tiny little square of sunlight and then they go and sit in it. That's exactly what I do. Can you see me? Or is this really annoying? Because you can just see lines on my face from the blinds. When the sun comes through the window, I just sit and close my eyes for a couple of minutes, almost in a meditative state, just enjoying, enjoying myself. Here's Brosnan and Keeley. That was on their wedding day, and then that's today in 2024. They're such a cute couple. She was still stunning then, and she is still stunning now. I keep seeing Piers Brosnan and his wife pop up on like all social media, like on Facebook and Instagram, and just in news articles in general. And basically, everyone is commenting on the fact that when Piers first married her that she was a lot slimmer and now however many years later she's gained weight and people are trying to say like oh she's let herself go and yada 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 when you are 80 years old and if you are still with your husband or your wife you're going to be thinking about the fact that you have such a connection that you're, you know, laughing in your rocking chairs. Not that you're being in your rocking chair at 80 years old, but, you know, you're going to be thinking about how you make each other feel. Yeah, it's nice to be attracted to someone, but it's such a kind of fickle thing, really, because it doesn't last. Like, I would much rather be with someone who makes me laugh, absolutely laugh my socks off, and I would rather be with someone who is like so genuine and someone who's like my best friend so much more than someone who just looks really hot and has a six pack or something like, you know, all those people in the comments that are roasting that poor woman. It's so strange how people comment on things that don't really concern them. Most of the time, though, people that make horrible comments are those people who are unhappy themselves and are insecure probably in their own relationships or whatever so which is sad you know oh my god shut the front door brogan tate has just uploaded another vlog oh yes hong kong disneyland vlog oh my gosh 45 minutes long as well yes absolutely beautiful music to my ears i've been checking my subscription box every day or so to see whether Brogan's uploaded a vlog because she's currently traveling around. I'm talking like I know her, but <laughs> you know when you watch YouTubers that you love and you do feel like you know them, like they do feel like they're your internet besties kind of thing. But yeah, she's just gone traveling with her now husband was her fiance. And then they basically, they got married on a cruise ship. So they went traveling around a cruise for, I think, two months or three months. It was like a half, half world round cruise, something like that. Um, so yeah, they've been on a cruise for a couple of months and they've been vlogging their experience as well. Um, and they got married on the cruise, which is so amazing. It's been so lovely keeping up with her vlogs. And also as well, I love the idea that instead of spending lots of money on a big wedding 
which can be pricey like the money that you spend on a wedding is like it's a lot isn't it but instead of spending a lot of money on a big wedding they just decided to go on a cruise instead just the two of them and i just think that's so romantic like spend i don't know thirty thousand pounds or however much the average is nowadays for a wedding uh, and then you spend all of that money for one day and as much as it is absolutely beautiful and it is worth it if that's what you want i love that they just scrapped all tradition and just decided to do something that made them happy getting married on a cruise and then living on the cruise for like two or three months like i'm sorry is that not just absolutely dreamy i don't know if i will get married one day who knows what the future holds but perhaps if i did get married one day i could see myself maybe wanting to do something like that maybe i would go on a cruise with my family and friends or maybe i would just go on a cruise with just myself and my fiance <laughs> i'm planning ahead you know i might not even get married i don't even know to be honest getting married has never been a dream of mine well i say that when i was younger getting married was something that i wanted to do like I always saw myself getting married and now as I get older and now that I am nearly at the ripe old age of 32, I'm kind of thinking I'm not so set on the idea of marriage anymore. Like if it happens, great, but if not, like it's not a goal to be honest. It's funny, a lot of things that I thought that I would have in my life by now and I don't have any more, or, or not that I don't have any more, but things haven't worked out i find myself just kind of letting the ideas of i should have this go and i'm just kind of like open sometimes you have an idea in your head and you think life will go one way and then life just ends up swinging you a completely different direction and then you realize oh actually maybe this way is better for me i don't even know what i'm talking about to be honest but <laughs> i don't know i might not get married to be honest, my next goal, which I would rather have right now, would probably be having a house. Buying a house would be more of a goal than getting married. Actually, getting married is probably quite low on my priority list. Everyone's different though. Some people have getting married as being their top priority. Some people have children as their top priority, you know. Some people have getting a dog as their top priority. Getting a dog is one of my priorities as well. I feel like though, I can't get a dog until I get a house. But once I get a house, I probably will get a dog, you know? <laughs> uh, anywho, so as Brogan has uploaded that vlog, which is very exciting, I am going to get dinner ready, you know? get myself all set up on this sofa. That's my Monday evening. Complete. For dinner, I've got a pizza. I got this from Sainsbury's. I just fancied like a pizza. Yeah, I fancied a pizza. So I got this one. It's Bocon, how do you say that? Bocconcini, I think. Bocconcini mozzarella and marinated cherry tomato wood fire pizza on a hand stretch base made with sourdough baked in beech wood fire ovens. Fantastic. And it has 592 calories in it, which is part of the reason why I got it because although I wanted a pizza, and although I absolutely love pizzas that have lashings of cheese, I love pizzas that are, you know, absolutely dripping in all of the toppings. I am in a calorie deficit. So this fits into my calories. This fits into my macros. 592 calories, not bad. So I think I'm going to pair this with 100 grams of broccoli. It does look quite good though, doesn't it? Like looking at the front with some broccoli. Oh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Honestly, it doesn't take much to excite me, does it? Like... Give me a nice vlog to watch on YouTube. 
a nice dinner and I'm, I'm good to go, you know? <laughs> what more could I possibly need? Tupperware just because I didn't have enough room on my plate So we've got balance, you know, we've got a bit of health on this side and a bit of tastiness on this side Not that health isn't tasty like this is the perfect amount of Like crispiness that I like my pizza. I don't like it to be super crispy. I like it to be almost doughy That mozzarella is so good I've paused the vlog to go and get myself a little dessert. This is the Biscoff mini ice cream stick. It's basically Biscoff inside with like a Biscoff crumb on the outside and then like white ice cream inside. It's so, so good. Can you see that Biscoff sauce with the ice cream and the Biscoff chocolate crumb? Oh my god, Lion King in Disney World. Imagine how amazing that would be. absolutely loved that that vlog was oh everything you just can't go wrong with a bit of disney like watching a disney vlog just gives you instant happiness like i challenge anyone to watch a disney vlog and not feel joy because like disney magic you know thanks for coming with me for the day and yeah i shall see you next wednesday goodbye